Hi, so today we'll learn how to do a very cool looking liquid gradient animation. So without further ado, let's get started. So first we'll start by creating a new composition. We'll create a 1920 into 1080p composition. I'll leave the frame rate at 60. Create the new composition. Now just right click here, create a new solid. Name it gradient and you'll see the solid go to effects and presets search for gradient sorry gradient and you should see four color gradient just drag it onto the top of this layer and you'll see that you'll have four colors to choose from so you can choose your own colors i already have a palette of my own that i'll be using in this video so i'll just select the colors for this two three and four i hope this is looking good uh i think i can go back to this color here yeah i think i'm happy with the colors i'm i've chosen we do not need it for now we'll need to animate this gradient a little bit before we start with all the other effects so how do we do that we click on the clock icon beside point 0.1 point 0.2 point 0.3 and point 0.4 like this so once you do that just select this layer press u on a keyboard and you should see the keyframes pop up over here i'll go 10 frames or 20 frames in my timeline and just move the points if your points are invisible just click on this four color gradient over here and the points should come back over here so i'll just move this subtly outside So this is how my animation will look like. Yep, this is it. So once we do that, what we also need to do is add in some effects to make it look very fluidy and liquidy. Okay. So we'll create a new adjustment layer and we will put in an effect called turbulent displace. Just drag it onto this layer take some time and the effect has been applied now change the amount to 300 change displacement to twist and change the size to 400 yeah so this is done for now we will just remove this we do not need this now i will add another effect to this layer which is called motion tile so again drag it and drop it on the layer uh, make sure the motion tile effect is above turbulent displace. So now you'll need to change in some options. You'll need to change the output width to 350 and output width again, our height again to 350. Make sure you check mirror edges. So now you see this has turned very liquidy and fluidy. So maybe I'll keep the timeline to maybe five seconds. Yep. And then how do we animate this to a loop? So you'll see changing the evolution will make this animate. This is a very liquidy gradient -y effect now. So I'll just undo that. Now we'll need to animate this. So how do you do this? While holding option on your keyboard, if you're on a Mac and Alt on a keyboard, if you're on Windows, press on the clock icon beside evolution. So this should open up this window over here where you have the text written effect turbulent display six. So we'll need to replace this with time into 300. I think this is uh, way too fast. Let's change this value from 300 to 200. And I think we should have our animation right there. Yeah, you can see a very liquidy and gradient effect right there. You can play around with the settings and fine tune the animation to your liking. You can change the colors. You can do whatever you like with it. But like this is the base of it. And I hope that this video has helped you. This is a very quick tutorial on how to do this liquid gradient animation. If you have any questions, do drop them in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching this video. This has been Satyajit. See you in the next one.